All right, so we have the half the time in the box drill video for our next shift. You guys will be hearing this and seeing this video on the 3rd of May in the morning. Um, video for this week is a house fire. We've done apartment fires and helmet cams the last couple weeks. We're going to shift it up a little bit because we don't get to see the same fires all the time. So I'm going to play the video for a few seconds. I'm going to let it be quiet. I want you guys to perform your size ups at your stations and absorb what you see, um, digest the information. Just as a refresher, half the time in the box, identify one person to run the scenario. If you still have the paper handouts for the command board, you can utilize those for practice and reps. Whatever the one person chooses are the strategy and tactics that we run with for the fire for the video. We can always talk about other options and other alternatives after the fact, but the point of this is repetition and learning and being able to apply your concepts, strategies, and tactics with multiple company assignments for the first three or four minutes of the fire. Um, also, the side that we're looking at is always alpha, even if it's evident on the video that it's not alpha for the sake of the video and to keep everybody on the same page. We're always looking at the alpha side. And third and final rule is that water supply is always easy. It's always within the 50 feet of the engine, and the engineer can make the connection within a matter of seconds by himself so it doesn't affect your staffing or your manpower. That way we can focus on your first few tactical objectives and your strategy and tactics that will be involved. Remember when you're doing your size up, identify line, location, um, size, and forecast out what you're going to need taken care of with the next three or four apparatus as they show up and what, what you're going to need them to do. So here we go. Um, house fire, May 3rd. All right, so now's your chance to talk about your line choice, your line size, your line placement. It's a good chance to talk about your walk around and the things that we're looking for and your size up and practice airing your size up with your group um, all the way through, including and all the way through having people play the roles of having dispatch so that you can actually have a conversation. We're going to let the video continue to play. So ask your groups uh, at your stations, which line did you pick? Where did you put it? Um, what are your next tactical objectives? What do you want your next en engine and or truck and or medic to do? How much help do you need? Are your people using the command board? And if so, what benchmarks have they achieved and where are they at in their, in their process? Which attack strategy did you choose? Are we offensive? Are we defensive? Is it transitional? What are your survivable spaces what's your survivability profile um, talk about your risk management plan and how you're going to overcome the obstacles that you see in this still frame as well as the video while still trying to take care of your people we're going to leave a pause for a second so you guys can talk about those things
All right, so we're going to rewind it. We're going to rehash some of these things. You guys have talked about a lot of it, hopefully, within your groups. Um, first thing that we see is a terminology piece, but it's important and it's worth noting. Your words have meaning, and as you can see in the description, this was a fully involved house fire. If that's the page information that we got, and they say it's a fully involved fire, which happens quite a bit, um, that paints a picture in our mind as the first arriving company officer if you say fully involved that paints a picture in everybody else's mind so make sure that you're trying to portray an accurate size up this house is not fully involved there are plenty of survivable spaces on this house three of them are right there at least three three potential entry and exit points are right there and we haven't even got to see the Bravo Charlie or Delta size of the house yet. So there's plenty of survivable spaces just within this screenshot. Um, next component is what size line do you want and where do you want it? Um, part of that's based off your fire. So when you look at the fire, you're looking at extent, location, duration, and size. How well involved? Where is it? And more importantly, where is it going to be when we get there? It's easier and faster for us to pull a cross lay that's an inch and three quarter line. It might take a few more seconds for us to pull a two and a half. Now we can get into the why of that if you want. My message would be to go practice both and try to get them to be competitive times with each other. But the point is, by the time you get your line in play and flowing, where's the fire going to be then? That's the component that you have to factor in when you're looking at your fire. It's not where it's at now. It's where is it going to be when we get our line where we need it. And that's on the interior of the structure as well as the outside of the structure. Also, we're talking about our um, size up. So for the company officers in the room, what you need to look at. Size, location, fire, uh, fire, location, extent, duration, size is the smoke condition. How much volume, pressure, density, and what color? Where is it coming from? Where is it going? Do you see a flow path? Where do you see the flow path? This window gives us a good example of flow path. It's not necessarily the route. I'm going to clear that out. But it does give you an idea of where the wind is at, um, what the laminar flow might be, and some of the other conditions that might be going on in the house. Are you going to hit this with your tank water or are you going to um, have your second in do that? That's just a tactical decision. I know we said water is easy, but it's a tactical decision that you have to sort through every time. Give yourself the reps to do that. Is search or fire attack your priority? Is vent one of your main priorities? How are you going to assign those resources? I'm not going to tell you guys the answers for that. That's for your stations to discuss. Size up. That's where we were. <laughs> so also with size up is getting to the Charlie side of the building. Like I told you guys, we're looking at the alpha side by default when we watch these videos. But if this is the Charlie side, it's important, as we talked about in our training last week, that you guys get your eyes on the alpha side. You're going to end up being a working command if you're in the offensive attack strategy. But one of the NIOSH 5 is not understanding the building and not getting your walk around done. So you have to get your eyes on that Charlie side. You're looking for three main things when you do that. Um, first, do we have a basement? Don't worry, I won't write on the videos every time. This is fun for me right now. Second, it's tied to the basement, but do we have a terrain change? Is that basement a walkout? Is the ground level in the front different than the ground level in the back? Change. Terrain change. And third, is the fire extent, location, duration, size. It's not always 
what it looks like from the alpha side. Sometimes it's a deck fire. Sometimes it's a bedroom. Sometimes it's a wood pile. Sometimes it's a planter box that extended up the siding into the attic, into the eaves. So you have to get your eyes on that Charlie side. Do not commit your folks into an ideal H environment without at least checking out the back side of the building. Remember when you're doing your size up, it doesn't have to come out in one breath. You can add on to these components as you complete the objectives that you have in your size up. It's okay to call on scene with smoke showing and investigating because you don't have any other information about it yet. And then to add on to that, we do have a basement. We have a Charlie side exterior fire. We have a room and contents fire, things of that nature. So I'm going to let the, play, the video play for another minute, um, continue to have these conversations, talk about your first three tactical assignments for next gen apparatus. You can play this out as far as you want, but that's enough of hearing me drone on. Remember the point of the video, recognition prime decision making, getting reps in your brain so that it's not the first fire of the day, and uh, be fast, loud, and aggressive. Go out there, do good things. Talk to you later.